Yo, folks. This is a, a quick test I'm doing using a, ske a steel skin over the top of my bed. My bed's a 2.3 millimeter aluminium bed, and I've just put a 0.4 millimeter steel skin. You can see this thing here that I've just laid on top of the bed for the moment, and a 1.6 millimeter piece of um, picture glass on top of that. And you can see my sensor there. It's currently wired into the 12 volt supply with a diode going into the input of the the board. Um, the cathode of the diode is actually wired towards the sensor output, and the other side of the diode is wired into the board. But this means that I can run the sensor at 12 volts instead of the 5 volts coming off the actual board itself. So as you can see, there's quite a, a, a large displacement there between the sensor and the, the top of the glass. If I bring the sensor down, you can see actually when it triggers. There you go, it's triggered about there. And you can see that there's still quite a large distance between the top of the glass and the sensor. Um, this, this is contrasted with, if I take the steel plate off and just put the glass back onto the, alum, onto the aluminium itself, there you go, that, so this is just the aluminium bed with the steel plate on top of it, and try to bring it down to trigger, and it doesn't trigger, my, my entire, my extruder is now touching the glass, and there's only around about one and a half to two millimeters left to go atop, across the top of the glass, and I don't think it's going to trigger at all. And in fact, if I push the sensor down, I can just about make it set and trigger with approximately half a millimeter to go. So that's not really usable at all. But by putting the, the steel plate onto it, and this plate is very rough, it's, I've still got to finish it yet, you can see the very nasty edges on it and things like that, so that's going to go through and get finished and cut to the right size. But um, it's actually at the bottom of a baking tray, right? Okay, and it's um, it's about 0.4 millimeters width, and it weighs next to nothing. Um, it probably weighs less than the glass. Okay, so um, I'm going to give that a go. Get that plate cleaned up, get it mounted properly onto the bed, and get my system all set up to use it, and see whether that gives me a better um, uh, height detection height for the bed itself using the inductive sensor. Um, the use of the 12 volt supply is new as well, and the diode and the 12 volt supply seems to be working really well. Um, I haven't seen any problems with that at all, and I've just been playing around with it this afternoon. But that seems to work extremely well indeed. Okay, thank you very much. This is Tim Hawkins.